Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez and today I want to talk to you guys about something that I've been meaning to talk to you guys for a while now and that's the topic of monitor calibration. Before I continue, I did want to state that this video is a sponsored video so I'm really happy about that because it's my first sponsored video and I'm also really happy because a lot of you guys have been asking me recently about color accuracy and how to improve it and this product that I'm going to be talking about in this video today is definitely going to help with that. So the product that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is this little guy right here, which is the Datacolor Spider 5 Pro, which is basically just an advanced calibration solution for both your laptop and your desktop, or whatever you're going to be working on. And what this thing does is it calibrates your monitor so that the colors that you're seeing on your monitor are the actual colors that you're seeing and not some variation of those colors. This is going to be very important if you ever intend to share your photos online or print them for yourself or for a client because you don't want to end up wasting a lot of time editing these photos on your monitor just to share them online or print them and get very drastically different results. By calibrating your monitor, you're ensuring that the colors that you're seeing on that monitor are going to match those colors that you're seeing when you share these photos online or when you print them. In my personal experience, I remember a specific incident where I was editing a photo on a friend's laptop that was uncalibrated and it was just one that I had to use because I didn't have another thing to edit on at the time. And I remember specifically that laptop having very, very little contrast and very little um, warmth. So it was very cold, in other words, in terms of color temperature. Well, when I shared that photo online, I saw a very drastically different result than what I was working on on that laptop. And the whole reason for that is because that laptop had a lack of contrast and a lack of warmth. So I had overcompensated for that and I thought I had gotten a good result on that laptop. But when I shared that photo, I saw a truer representation of what I was working on. So what I thought was good was actually not good at all. And the whole reason for this mess was because that laptop was not calibrated. So learn from my mistakes, calibrate your monitors, and invest in something like the Spider 5 Pro, for example, so that you don't have to go through the same thing that I did. It's a little odd how a lot of photographers out there will invest a lot of money on camera lenses, on camera bodies, off-camera flash gear, modifiers, and a whole bunch of other stuff that involves photo taking. But when it comes to calibrating their monitors and investing in something that will be able to do that, they'll be like, mm, nah, I don't want to do that. And I find it especially weird when a photographer buys a very expensive off-camera flash that has very good color accuracy, but ends up editing that shot on a screen that is not calibrated, which is just going to kind of contradict that whole point of buying that expensive flash. I'll go ahead and raise my hand and say that I was definitely in that mindset of a photographer that didn't want to invest in a calibration tool because I wanted to invest that money in something else like a new lens, for example. But honestly, after years and years of thinking, okay, I know my colors are not completely accurate, but they couldn't be that bad. Well, after experiencing how the colors look like on my monitors before and after calibrating them, I can tell you that it definitely is a noticeable difference and something that I wish I had invested in and done a lot sooner. The Data Color Spider 5 comes in three different versions. I have the Spider 5 Pro, which I'm going to show you guys how to set up right now. But there's also the Spider 5 Elite and the Spider 5 Express. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description area below that you guys can check out so you can see which ones that you want to invest in. So when it comes to actually calibrating your monitor, it's actually a very simple process that shouldn't take you more than five minutes to do. The first thing that you're going to do, of course, is download the software, install it, and then run it. And when you run it, you're going to see a checklist of four different things that you need to do to make sure that you're calibrating the monitor correctly. After that, you're going to be asked if you're going to be calibrating a laptop or desktop. And one thing that I did want to point out is that when you're calibrating a desktop, it's going to give you the option of adjusting the brightness of the monitor. And when it comes to the laptop, it's just going to kind of bypass that option. After you follow a couple more prompts, you're going to get to the main part of the calibration, which is just going to be a part where it flashes a lot of different colors and a lot of different intensities of brightness on the monitor itself to calibrate the monitor to the best of its ability. After that, you're pretty much done. And all you need to do now is just see how different the colors look like before and after you calibrated the colors. In my experience from the iMac Pro and the MacBook Pro that I calibrated, both of them were a little bit cool and didn't have a lot of reds. So after I calibrated them, I definitely saw how different the results were and I was very much glad that I had calibrated those monitors. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys calibrate your monitors because again, a lot of you guys always ask me, you know, how to get better color accuracy for your monitors and you always wonder why the colors that you're seeing on your screen when you're, when you're editing are not the colors that you're seeing when you share them online. So definitely calibrate your monitors and you should see that problem resolve itself. All right, take care guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.